Hey everybody, Jay Shlansky here from the Fifth Trooper Network. I just want to take a moment to thank you for checking out this show. Did you know that over at thefifthtrooper.com we have tons of other content, including blogs, other podcasts, all kinds of stuff. In addition, if you want access to exclusive content, you can join us on patreon.com slash thefifthtrooper and join at any level and you'll get access to uh, exclusive blog articles, access to our private Discord, and much more. So please, Check us out, and thank you so much for all your support. Welcome to the Fifth Trooper Podcast. <laughs> the Ewok ran across the speeder bike path. Hi, welcome back to the Fifth Trooper Podcast. It's us. I'm Jay. Hello. That's Tim. It's me. We're here. I'm going to warn you guys ahead of time. This is going to be a short episode. Uh, I'm on my way to vacation and. Tim is on his way back from vacation, so... Correct. Yeah, yeah so, so we're kind of cutting this one uh, a little short. Um, but yeah, so welcome back to the Fifth Trooper. If you haven't had a chance, I was on Scoundrels this week talking about uh, our... I was dressed as Santa, number one, and uh, talking about our, our wish list for Legion. So It was a perfect costume, by the way. Hey, it thank you. Great A. It was, great. Uh, it was actually different than the one i did so we did the halloween episode where i actually wore the fake beard but this time i actually no, dyed yeah. my beard yeah. yeah uh you committed <laughs> yeah well it was serendipitous because um we couldn't get someone to cover for mike on mm-hmm. on uh on scoundrels and and last minute kyle was like hey can you do it and i said i can but i am going to be dressed as santa because it's my wife's uh work party and they asked us to yeah. dress as santa and mrs claus and right, he goes right. yeah that's okay we could do a wish list for legion i go okay Boom. yeah Done. so <laughs> yeah. there you go so Boom. yeah so anyways so check that out um today we're just i don't know you know tim has got gonna be playing the legion this week and so he's oh, yeah. gonna talk about a couple of the lists that he had built i thought maybe we could go through some lists building or some some ideas i don't yeah. know you know, we're just no, going to wing fair. it. Well, and I've got, we were talking before the show, like I've got a bunch of different lists that I want, want to try. I've been running wikis for a while. They're yeah. a lot of fun. I really enjoy them. Uh, they did really well at PAX, came in second at PAX, right? Like there, there's some, some things to be said for wikis, but there's just so many things out there I want to try. And I just, there's just all fun. Um, it's a good spot to be at as far as like health of the game wise. Like it, it's good. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean I'm just running the same thing over and over again. But man, I just can't settle. And I got, we have all right. I have a local night coming up, but then, I mean, shoot, uh, whatchamacallit, it's around the corner, LVO. Oh, right. That's at the end. LVO's around the corner. And then so is, uh, right after that's going to be Golden Sprue. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, Evan's running that Golden Sprue and, and I'm somewhat involved and I still keep forgetting about it. Like oh, everyone dude. keeps going, what about Golden Sprue? I'm like, oh God. That's right. It's going to be so fun, though, because there's yeah. there's going to be le- like legitimate standard format Legion. But then also we're going to have all kinds of crazy things. I say we I'm not helping run it, but I just yeah, I I'm very invested in Evan's success running. Yeah, it, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to succeed. It was a great time last year. Like, honestly, for kind of coming out of the blue last year, it was just great. Um, yeah. And then this year is already lining up to be ridiculous fun. It's just a really it. It, it's funny that it's next to LVO because the vibe of it for being in the middle of Schenectady, New York, really hits a similar vibe to why I love LVO. Because this is a bunch of guys like hanging out and having fun. Yeah, Legion's there. We all talk yeah. about it and we all argue about it. But like, it's a part of the experience, but it's not the only reason for going. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it, well, I mean, to, like, I mean, it's Evan, right? And Evan just has that vibe about him anyways, where it's just like, hey, we're just going to come, throw some dice, have some fun. And, you know, it's, listen, uh, alcohol is freely available at this event. Yes, in the lobby. Yeah. In the lobby bar. We, right, uh, right we shut down the, the lobby bar last yeah. year. And yeah, we shut down a couple bars. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, and then also they have carts right outside the doors from the event as well so you can you know you could get your drinks there too so yeah it's a great event and uh that'll be exciting um it's a stark contrast to worlds 
for sure. Uh, not that Worlds yeah. is not fun. It's just different. <laughs> it's just yeah. different. It's, it's a very different vibe. Yeah. yeah. In a good way. In a good yeah. way. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, I uh, for those of you uh, who who didn't listen to Scoundrels, I I'll just talk about this real quick here because I'm a little passionate about it right now. But um, is we were talking about our wish list and like what we want for Legion, and mine was um, to clean up and make uh, skirmish playable. Because and I think you guys all probably, if you've been listening to the Fifth Trooper, you probably know where I'm heading with this. Is been playing a lot of a lot of mcp and one of the great things I knew about, it was coming. about mcp I knew it was coming. <laughs> is it's quick uh it's reasonable to travel with it you know it's uh you there's no you feel bad but it doesn't linger because you can get to the next game quick and bounce back and legion needs i think a small like skirmish is almost there. And I think, you know, uh, I said this on scoundrels that like even Alex and, and Luke, when they made skirmish, they would even agree with this, that they didn't really see it all the way through. It was quickly put together and put out there. Right. And so, yeah, I would love to see even like a restricted list or like a band list or something in skirmish that takes all the fields bads away, like the range four, like that you can't really have that in skirmish. You can't like maybe take away all vehicles. Skirmish shouldn't have vehicles, maybe even creature troopers. Um, you know, there's the, I, I think you could do something to make that vibe uh, better. Yeah, that's fair. I don't even think it would need a, a rules change or you could still have the same cards, the same skirmish cards that came in the, in the, Upgrade pack two, which you can't get a hold of right now because it's out of stock everywhere. But you could still have all the same cards. You just you just institute a ban or restricted list, uh, and that would that would help that game immensely. And I think vehicles could be banned. Range four weapons could be banned. Maybe even range three are uh, restricted somehow. You know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, like for even the most basic of gun lines, even range three is like devastating yeah right like that's when everything hits full force normally so yeah i could see that anyways i just it's just i mean they have spec ops though like they're doing the spec ops thing they said they're but that's they're that's kill team that. it's something different it's I, not even i you need because here's here's my argument and this is what i argue with kyle you, yeah you the people that come play legion are one of two people roughly okay i'm sure there's outskirts but but these are our main buckets people coming from 40k who don't want to play 40k anymore and people who love star wars those are your two main right and we need a, we yeah. need an intro to the non-war gamers the non-star wars uh you know fanatics that's like hey because like you know there's no like side game for legion like you can't say all right i'm i'm playing right. i'm either playing competitive legion or i'm not playing at all at this event right and there needs right. to be a quick like 70 minute game of Legion that you can play in an hour, an hour and 20 minutes and move on and still get the taste of Legion and still enjoy it. I don't know if there needs to be that though. I, I think I absolutely you just play, I think you just play a different game at that point and then play Legion as well. That I way, think you're completely I, wrong. And that's fine. I just, I think there's so many good <laughs> games that do that so well, like MCP, like Shatterpoint and they like, I think they do it so well. Why try and replicate that when you can just be your own thing? I'll, I'll tell you why. And have each thing be its own thing. Here's why. I'll give you a perfect example. Hot dogs and a sandwich is all I'm saying. No, yeah, right. Okay, maybe. But I think if you want people to play Legion, and I think we're starting to see maybe a little bit of an exodus from Legion, okay? I think so. I think we're starting to see people not play it as much because here's why. And it, this goes back to a few episodes ago where I was talking about the commitment that it takes to play Legion, right? But if you mm -hmm. told me that I could play a pared down version of Legion in and play four or five rounds in a day and still see everything and still be able to play Legion, play with the minis I've painted up, play with everything, I would do that. That would be interesting to me. That would keep me playing Legion. And I think you do that by cleaning up Skirmish creating a ban or or a or a limited list for it uh and and that's how you do it and then make it a competitive ish event 
I think it's perfect. And then you keep I, people in Legion. My minis I can still use. I still playing Legion. I don't because the problem with with forcing people to other games, Tim, is they'll just go play the other games. If that's what they if they just want a shorter game, then yeah, I don't want a shorter game. I like my longer games. You're a masochist then, because it's crazy. No, no one likes I'm just longer a war gamer. games. I'm I'm a war gamer. I want to feel satisfied at the end of my game. And I you don't want to feel satisfied. No, 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 no. You want to feel want. upset want, and baby. sweaty. I know what you want. I want to feel exhausted. You love That's the pain true. of the exhaustion of three or four That's rounds. Right. Like when they That's say, right. "Oh, it's going to be a four round tournament today," you're like, it "Oh, be. baby." Well, look at I'm the opposite. You tell me it's look. a four round Legion tournament. I'm like, I'm not going to that. What? World's World's Day One is probably going to be four rounds. I know, it? and I'm I'm. So it's amazing. Angry. That's what it should be. That's the real deal. All right, maybe it's worlds. worlds. Maybe worlds. Yes. It's all right. Worlds. All right. I'll, I'll go with that. Worlds. Yes. Everywhere else. No. <laughs> uh, I just Anyways. I don't think it needs to be shorter. I think just, just play. You can play it, multiple games. Legion it's okay. itself, your eight hundred point, you know, grand art does not need to be shorter. It is what it is. That's the game. Right. But in order to keep people going with it and keep people interested, and okay, here's here's a perfect example, right? At Worlds, you, you're gonna have to go X and O to get out of Worlds. You have to be un undefeated. Undefeated, right? To yeah, to, to do completely this. undefeated. Yeah. Um if you're not and you're done, you now just go to play other games. If they had a smaller game that played on a three by three that was skirmish, a skirmish adjacent game. You could keep people playing Legion. And and I didn't just bring an entire army to be booted out of day one of worlds. You know? Marketing, baby. I I guess. I don't know. Again, I think you I think there's I think the space is big enough to have multiple people there. And it's okay. And multiple things. No. It's all right. Not everything Wrong. has to be the same as something else. Everything has to be a legion or nothing at all, Tim. What is your problem? <laughs> what podcast do you think you're on right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't have a, my wish list. I, I, I'm really happy with where the game's at right now. Yeah. Um, we actually, it's funny you say there's an exodus. Uh, I've seen growth across every platform I've seen legion going. So I see a lot of growth. How about that? Um, you are looking at the wrong things, Palo. Okay. Local scenes is where it grows. That's all I'm saying. Our but... local scene for sure is growing. Yeah. Not Rochester's everybody's. Is, not everyone's, yeah. though. Knoxville's Rochester. You have North Carolina. I've seen it grow. Yeah. Uh, you look around. I've seen I've seen the, the good writing on the wall. But anyway, uh, I don't know. What, what would I really want? I don't know. No one cares what I, you I, want. I, that's fair. I'm a ginger. I don't get to have wishes. No. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'll think of it later. All right. <laughs> well, let's talk uh, about uh, your game coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I have my Wookiee list built, so I might run that, but I have a couple of days to build something else. And so I, I've been looking at, I really, again, Empire is my first love, yep. but Empire just feels a little bit dull right now. I'm excited for Inquisitors to come out. I know. Here's the thing. Everyone's excited for Inquisitors to come out because they think they're so good, and I'm I'm fine with that. To me, they're just something different and fresh, and so that's why I'm excited for it. Like, all right, great. I think they're going to be good, too. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, okay, I'm not... Sorry. This look isn't for your Inquisitors conversation. This this okay. look is... I don't... I don't think you really understand Empire, then. If you Ooh. if you can't come up Old with words. a fresh, fresh list right now... I'm not saying I can't come up with a fresh list, but it's just oh. most of them seem to be like pretty similar. They, it's like, okay, you're really good at sitting there and shooting and like, they're okay, cool. Like hmm. you don't have to share. You don't have to think about it. You just aim, shoot. And then if you're a remnant, you aim three more times. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. Cause even like Tempest, there's a lot of aim, shoot and like with the ATS. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a list for you. Okay. Go for I don't it. know if you have the models for it. But okay. I have a list for you. Okay. It's two Gav tanks and two E webs. You're speaking of the old ways, but yes. I I really think it has legs. All right. So for it those doesn't of, have treads, actually. Right. Yeah. For those of you who don't know about this, okay. 
you you get the two gab takes. All right. I I think this is is still really good, Tim. And what you I, do? I believe you think that is you put uh you put the you put the pintle on it, the rifle pintle, which is yep. the uh one red, three white. Mm -hmm. You you can put the um surge pilot on it, which is the armor pilot. That's you should up to you. Yep. You put the onboard's com channel on yep. it. Okay. Now what you do is you get yourself two e webs. You put link targeting array on the e webs. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. we're going to explain all this to you folks in a minute. Uh, and then up to you, whether you want overcharge or or barrage. Barrage is going to give barrage. you more. Okay, well, it depends. Barrage. Like, if you're looking for more impact in your list, if you're afraid of a Tempest list, you could go You could go uh, with the impact gun. But let's say barrage. That's fine. So you have two E-webs, two tanks. Okay? Now, an oldie but a goodie, you put General Veers in here. Okay. All right. You got, uh, you can put, now the makeup of the rest of this is kind of up to you, but you could definitely put some, just like a couple of stormtroopers in here. So let's just tr throw three nakeds in to start. Could, could um, put some med boys in there or yep. repair bots, probably or med guys. Cause the E-webs are always weaker than people think. So I would say repair or uh, med guys. You know, you could put one of each really, if you wanted. Sure. That's fair. Keep the E-webs healthy, keep the tanks healthy. So I got one of each. Uh, let's you know let's put two meds in there why not you know and one repair and i've got two sniper strike teams okay i'm sorry okay. i have 10 activations right now i would drop those snipers into just naked storms but anyway <laughs> yeah you could all right let's do that sure, sure i just don't not? think strikes are good right now well i think you're wrong but that's okay fine. so actually let me let me share this because people on you on the youtubes are going to want to see this the views all right so so we've got two occupiers both with elite armor pilots pintles co on board comms we have two e-webs with link targeting ray barrage generators we have two naked storms we have two storms with med droids and one with an astromech we could actually add another one with an astromech we've got the points so you've got two two astromech boys two two heal boys general veers you're gonna want maximum firepower yeah, you're, you're gonna want evasive maneuvers. Yeah, you put on pin push. Down. You uh pin down. Yeah, not push. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. You want pin, pin down. down. Still pin down while you're building the command cards. Pin down has been, and I think for a long time will be sneaky good. People don't yep. play it. They enough. never expect it. Yeah. It is so good. It is. It was the anti tax strike back in the day. It still is. It's anti so many things that rely on. There's so many orders or command cards rather that rely on face up order tokens that it can just ruin yep. someone's day. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. And for those of you who don't know what it does, basically if your heavier support units, in this case, you will have four actions that'll be able to do this. If they shoot something with a face up order token, your opponent has to shuffle that back in their, in their, in their stack. Um, yep. So, and I'm going to explain that in this case, you'll have four, uh, and then you do you do imperial discipline and assault. So there's your yep. command hand. Okay. Uh, you're missing a one pit. Oh, am I? Oh, maybe I yeah. didn't do ambush. Just uh, do ambush. Yeah. You could do it. Yeah, you would do ambush in this list. Yeah, you do ambush. Uh, all right. Yeah. So here's what you do, folks. Four out of your six turns. Okay, you're giving orders to the tanks. Mm-hmm. And then they're giving orders to the E-Webs, which are then getting aims. So your tanks, and they can move, shoot. They could aim, shoot. They can move, move, and then let the E-Web shoot. There's a mm -hmm. lot going on here. You can ta You could alpha strike with this list. <laughs> alpha um, tank strike, yeah. Dude, it's nasty. It's uh, a classic. I it played. Is. Uh, this was a while ago. I think uh, Mike, I was playing Mike Barry and he was playing uh, Anakin Padme, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I played this, a version of this list. And I literally moved, like, gave orders to the tanks, moved into fire lanes, and then literally shot. Uh, oh, they had aims too from Veers because Veers. Yep. Veers has spotter two. Spotter two. Which we should point out too. Remember, you only have to be range one 
from the tank, tank. base, not from yeah. the eWeb, because right. eWeb's yeah, not kind of there. It's there, but not there. And but yeah. But you don't even have to give it to so you give it to the tanks. They now have aims. They move, shoot. The eWebs right. both have orders with aims. They then aim shoot. So they yep. have two aims. And you could you can erase two squads of clone troopers. Yeah. Behind barricades. Yeah. Like easily. I, I do think all, all jokes aside about the gav tank, I actually do think that's a solid list. Yeah. I think it's it's solid enough. Yeah. And then, you know, in this iteration, we have Astromechs and Heal Bots. I could go without the Heal Bots. And actually, like if we cut those two Heal Bots, we could potentially put some some nice weaponry in there. You know, if you're if you're scared of ATSTs or something eating your lunch, you could put HH twelves in there if you wanted on two of them. You can, uh, but remember, occupier is going to have a good amount of impact, and then also your eweb search crit. Yeah, so you could put the two T twenty ones. We're going to have to get some points back somewhere, but you know, the elite armor pilots are a nice to have, not technically a need to have. Um, Disagree. In but this, that's fine. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's an argument for, uh, you know, doing one for sergeant and then you could do one for yeah. sergeant and then one governor price mm -hmm. and like there's some nice like aims and stuff going on in there you know and that makes up for the uh that makes up for for the for the surge something else to note too since we're talking about gavs um and and oblong bases in particular is for things like long march it's, it really applies to any game or deployment but especially long march, you can deploy with up of up to half of your base outside yeah. of the deployment zone. Yep. Oh, that was nuts. that was a rule that was created for me specifically. I think thank I've you told, for that because it almost cost me a game back in the day. <laughs> so I've told this story before, but I'll tell it one more time. We were at LVO. I was playing double heavy. I was playing ATST Gav Tank. It was the final table against Nima on Nima. stream. And uh, Alex Davey was there on stream watching our game, and I could not deploy my yep. gav tank because there was nowhere to put it unless I put it straight. And Alex literally on stream goes, Oh, we're gonna have to change that. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's where that ruling came from. Uh, because he, yeah. yeah. He ended up seeing that in stream, and so they modified the rules. So yeah, I'm no, helping I, stream that one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But yeah, uh, you might have been. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so anyway, so uh, this Tim, this is a very creative, very good list. I, I think would yeah. hold up well. Uh, I think it it holds up fine. I think well, a force user could mess with it. Um, yeah. I think I think the force user is just going to run around the tanks basically and and get in and mess with the troopers. But I mean, they have to survive to get there, which is not an easy task. So you want to get even nastier. I think uh, you got a lot of impact to run around too these days. I so. forgot about the pass mechanism uh, for yeah. a minute there. So you know the other thing you could start doing oh, is God. if you also put shore troopers in there and the mortars, you could start. You could also fire support your tank or e-web mm -hmm. you could also use the shore troopers to give orders to the e-webs if you wanted to do a different layout and not have them on the tank and have mm -hmm. the e-webs you know if you want to block an alley or something have the tanks just running around causing chaos mm -hmm. do that oh yeah no you're you're you have options um again double double gav double e-web to me is a classic and that's fine like i, I think it's fine um yeah I don't, I don't know if it's crushing but i think it's interesting um you, are you trying to put you're trying to put a bounty hunter in yeah there? i was looking to see what else <laughs> I could put in here. Uh, double gav double e web bounty hunter okay. i don't think crushing uh but i think if you practiced it and you understood what your list did other people will not understand what this list does That's uh right. and and i think you could get away with some some real interesting things yeah yeah Sure. Like, okay, you want to be like, you could even be, you could bone up and like, so these shore troopers, you could give them, you know, each another shore. You could also give them, uh, you can give them officers, give them officers their courage too, all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, you could do that. I mean, I was going to give them offensive push too, and then just be like tossing so much dice into people. 
Now I like putting officers on them because then you're you're able to get aims on them even more reliably. So you can get that courage too going. Yeah, and then you could give them recon intel, <laughs> and you could give them offensive push. God, those there's just some fat shores, man. But they're they, so they're gonna hit hard. Well, yeah, and quick. Yeah. Yeah, and then you remember that your mortars are going to be deploying a speed one off yeah. of the recon intel already. So your mortars essentially have like scout three, basically. So, so basic, right? So so with that, so you know, it this is a little bit trickier to do, but like your first couple yeah. turns for like an alpha strike. Uh, let me get his command cards back in here so I can look at this. Um, but on the your first two turns, right? You would play. So your first turn, you could play. You, you could probably play assault. Okay, so here's what you do. Veers gives the orders to... You could do it two ways. You could give them to the tanks. And then they give them to the e -whip. So Now you got four there. Then your third order, you could give to one of the shores, which then gives it to a mortar. So now you have six activations. You have three in your in your uh, bag, two core and, and a commander. So you have a 33% of chance of pulling veers if you want it, right? And then yeah. or you could just go and alpha strike right right off the bat. I would say, so I agree with you, except I would say that third order could go on veers and then let him spot her. You could. Well, uh, so there's, you have some options, right? So if you want to yes. spot her and give the, if the tanks need to move, yes, give it to right. veers. He's going to spot her, give them aims, then they can move up and shoot and have their full thing. Exactly. If they're, if your opponent misdeploys and they're up closer, you actually want to give it to the shorts of the mortar. So then when you fire, you then could fire support on top of it as well. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Like that. Th so there's two different options in that, like that turn zero, like, or turn one. Uh, yeah. it, it's like, okay, do I want, are the tanks moving up and doing most of the work or are they close enough where I can like pull some shenanigans and having more orders out is better. Here's the other thing I would say with that too, is you're at 798. That two point bit is not going to do you anything other than cost you a tie yeah. break. Uh, put recon on veers. Yeah. I think the same. recon yeah. Intel on veers. Yep. You don't even have to remember recon Intel doesn't have to be used. Like you right. get scout one, yep. you don't have to go anywhere. But yeah, putting uh, him in place where he can hand out aims when as your army's mm -hmm. moving up is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Say, especially if you're alpha striking, you do want him to scout up so that way he's right. able to be in range one of the tanks. And, well, yeah. the nice yeah, the nice thing about this is if you're if your opponent's onto the alpha strike, right, you also have pinned down. There's nothing saying you can't play pinned down first turn. Move up your tanks. Mm -hmm. Shoot and and take away all their order control and then just punish them for the rest of the game. Again, unless unless your opponent is playing like a tax strike list, then you save your pin down yeah. for the tax strike turn. Well, right. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember with the tanks because they have arsenal, you can split fire. Yes, and it's each attack pool causes the face up order token to go back in. Right. So you could technically put in two, four, six, six. You could put six orders back in someone's bag, uh, which is devastating. So. Depending yeah. on what they're playing. I mean, no. could you right? So like imagine they set up some weird turn with like droids, right? Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm blah, blah, blah. and you're like, put everything back in your stack, boy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, it, if you want AI to trigger like that, yeah, it's yeah, it can be a real pain in the neck. So, yeah. anyways, there's a list for you. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I like it. Again, it's a classic for a reason. That's fair. I think I, I was talking to last week. Isaac was on. You missed it. Yeah. You were on vacay. Uh, I listened to it, though. He did oh, great. It was yeah, awesome. yeah. Great. Isaac's the man. We're definitely having him back on more. Oh, yeah. He's sure. fantastic. For yeah. sure. Uh, so I mentioned to Isaac, I what I said was, I and to your point earlier about your wish list, because you like where the game's at, you don't really have anything. I think even though that's a classic, I think it's very viable today. And on top of it, I don't think people are ready for it. So I if you walked fair. up with that list, I think 70% of players would be like, uh, not scared, but would just play normal. And then you could punish them severely. My only caveat to that is that there's so much impact still running around. Yeah. That's for sure. Bit, but 
but that's also why if you run the repair bot version, that's what they're there for. Also, right. you can have the e-webs get out. Feel like they're going to, if the tank's going to go down, get the e-webs out yeah. and, you know, like well, you uh, have options. You don't even have to put the e-webs in them. Also true. If you didn't want to. I've seen that happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Um, no, I dig it. I do. I do. Good. I've been, I've been toying around with, obviously, like I said, Wookiees. But I really have had a few things in my head. I think Rex is still good. So I've messed around with him a little bit. Um, I've always wanted to try. I I ran last LVO. I think it was last LVO. Yeah. I ran double saber, triple flamer RT. It actually mm. did better than I would think. Truth be told, it did better than I would think. But I think it was that last LVO. Man, I'm losing track of time, man. I can't even remember what I did. Anyway. But this time around, I'm curious about the Saber Tank and the ISP. And with those extra points, you get a lot of fire supports going. So hear me out. I understand where it's a little bit a little bit crazy town. But you got Commander Cody. Because last year, we didn't have Cody before. So now we got Cody. Yeah. Commander Cody with scopes. You got a Saber Tank with the Blaster Church. There's a three black critical two, or critical one, excuse me. Uh, high energy shells. And the comms relay. Here, let me yeah, uh, they... let me build this for people who some people like to see this on the screen. So no, that's fair. Yeah, I can't uh, share my screen. So yeah. No, it's okay. It's uh, okay. So we got yeah. that. So we then we put in the saber. Yep. And saber. We the high energy shells. Yep. Yeah. Standard standard configuration plus comms relay because of Cody. Which we'll go back to. We'll go through the thought process here in a second. But yeah. No. Uh, the hard point. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The, not the beam turret. Oh, you <laughs> like the twin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, then you have the ISP just with your crit pilot and with missile pods. And if you don't want missile pods, that's fine. I like them because it's two, four red potentially or two red and two red if you do gunslinger, you know, whatever. But whatever, they're all the same price. Phase one with a Z6 Man, and recon. Z6. Yeah. Z6 and a recon. Because that way, the recon intel on them is such a clutch play because it gets them into, into range. Two phase ones with RPSs. Yep. Another phase one with fives and recon. There we go. Yeah. Uh, phase two with a mortar and boil. Yep. And then you're at 800 on the nose. Dang. Boom. That is a thick list full of fire supports. And so the for those that don't maybe know how that works, Cody has direct vehicle. So you direct to the Sabre tank. The Sabre tank relays it to fives. Fives then keeps it and then also coordinates to another fellow phase one. So every turn, no matter what command card you play, as long as that tank's alive, you're going to, and everyone else is alive, you're going to be issuing th uh a minimum of two fire supporting orders because you really want the orders on the phase one so they can fire support. And then you have, you could fire support the tank if you want to. You can fire support Cody because a great fire support platform. You have the ISP, which is made for fire supporting. Yep. Uh, and for those that don't know how the ISP works, because not a lot of people play it, it's a really cool unit. I really do like it. Um, height is sometimes an issue for it, but you can, with the, with the, the heavy weapons upgrade on it, you can either keep the whole pool. So in this case, it's four red impact uh, two, I believe, right? Yeah, impact two at range two to four. Or you can give it the gunslinger and split that pool and the keywords and go two shot and two shot. So it's two red, two red, impact one, impact one. But obviously, again, then you would fire support. And with that special pilot on there, it says anytime you fire support, you get surge crit. So this list not was bad. really made to to just do all that stuff. And then also, I mean, not for nothing, all those troopers can move. I mean, you have yeah. two Courage 2 troopers. Um, pro tip, keep that surge on that phase two uh, like it's gold because that is for boil. It's only for boil. It's for no one else. It does not get shared. <laughs> it doesn't go to anyone else. It's That is his because you can't share for Guardian. Yeah. So he has to keep his. But um and yeah, the recon intels on the Z6 on the fives keeps them gets them into range quicker. Yeah. I I think it's 
solid enough. Again, I don't know if it's it's amazing, but it I think seems it's like a lot super of fun. interesting. Yeah, I think you're wiping potentially wiping units. Um, oh, dude, you know what I just thought of? Yeah, you What's could that? put the mortars on the tanks, give them orders, and fire support the tanks with the oh, mortars. You're talking about Oh, for your sorry, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, it just hit me. And then no, you that's a great keep idea. Keep the e-webs by the shore troopers and give give the e-webs the orders from the shore troopers and hold down your back with the e-webs. And then I didn't even think about that. So, so you're doing. So you could potentially, be, Jesus, you could be doing a three red, three white, two black. Uh, well, actually, be six white with the fire support, suppressive mm -hmm. impact to shots. Yeah, with an aim, and, with and an then aim. so with an aim. and again, a critical remember one. a critical one. Remember too that the the gav tank at range two doesn't it have suppressive at range two. Uh, yeah, yeah. So really, if you're if you really if let's talk about if you're wanting to do your suppression damage, yeah, you can split fire a bunch, and so then if you have your mortars, and your tanks, and your e webs all done, you're getting. Was that six suppressive shots? Yeah. Two, four, yeah, six suppressive shots potentially, uh, and you're not going to be doing a ton of damage because you're splitting fire. Right. But if you're if your goal is to just deal suppression, there you go. Right. If you want, if somebody has like, if you end up getting like recover or something, and somebody goes for that middle box, and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to put like eight suppression on you. Yeah. You know, good. You're going to drop it. You're definitely you... dropping that box. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because the rules now, it's automatic as soon as you hit yeah. to the threshold. Boom. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to go backwards. It just hit me. No, like no, it's okay. Like, That's a great thought. Oh, dude, yeah. you could put those on them. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I haven't run a fire support platform in a long time. And so I just. I'd love I think to see cool. one of those ISPs out there. Uh, people always forget they're speed three, man. Yeah. They are speed three. So they do actually pretty well on bombing around. Like this list doesn't hate. I don't love it. I wouldn't play for it, but I I could survive bombing run. Yeah, because um, his saber can move really quick with a huge base and hover, and uh, with strafe rather. And then same thing, ISP's got a pretty good sized base with strafe, and they're going to strafe at speed too. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's neat. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's a lot of fun, and it's a really like I said, it's a thick list. Um, I really like having upgrades on everything because then. It feels a lot less bad when you lose something. You know, we've talked about that before on here of the feels bad of, oh, I lost this big expensive unit and blah, blah. This helps mitigate that a little bit. It's like, I'm okay to lose certain things. Yeah. You know, within reason. I like it. Within reason. <sighs> All right. Cool we'll I'll probably bring that tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Or you not, should. I keep saying tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday. I know. Thursday. Our Thursday. week's Whatever. off. Our week's off. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So looking forward to it. I don't know what's just eventually I gotta start practicing something for LVO, or I'll just wing it like I always do and enjoy Vegas <laughs> for the rest of the time. I'll end up streaming probably. <laughs> so if someone's streaming, I'll hop on there and it's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that. Maybe I'm the hobo streamer, so I just hop on. Yeah, he, you you've always been like that. That's fair. I take that as a compliment because I choose to. I wasn't it wasn't insulting at all. You're a great you're a great asset and a great friend. And we all love you, pal. I feel like it's a butt coming. <laughs> nope. Okay, buddy. You're already in the holiday spirit. You're in the and I mean holiday in every sense of the word is like going on vacation. Yeah. Your own personal holiday. Yeah. It's gonna be great. The palm trees going on. It was great weather. So I left it in good condition for you. It was good. Well, thank you. Can't yeah. wait. It's good times. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, thanks for sticking through this short episode. I, I swear next week we'll be back with a full-on episode. Yeah, we, we went okay. We, we were able to talk through that a little bit. We, you know, a little bit crafting. Yeah, it was good. It was, good. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Good times. Deal with it. And by that, we mean we love you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Good night, everyone. Join us next week for another edition of the Fifth Trooper podcast. This has been a Fifth Trooper production.